Yo, yo, welcome back to another episode of The Diaries, episode 19. What's been going on uh, this week? So, yeah, with the with the ads, we're still we're gaining a bit more momentum, but it's still obviously not like super profitable for us. So we can't go heavy scaling. So we're still testing a few different things. One thing I'm actually testing right now is previously we were sending people directly to the sales page. Uh, but what we're testing right now is basically for the organic audience, what has worked really well is we created a VSL that sold. It was like a 20 minute VSL that sold the $47 workshop. And as soon as we introduced this to our marketing, this we saw like a notice, noticeable difference in, in sales. So from the ads, instead of them just sending them straight to the sales page, what we're doing right now is running Instagram uh, DM ads and we're basically getting them into an Instagram DM message and then sending them like the free training and then the free training obviously sells them on the, the BSL. So i um, already had a few sales come through these campaigns, which is good. So it's looking okay, but I'll, I'll give you guys a further update on that. I think this may be for the offer slash the niche slash the price point. Yeah, just the conversion was just wasn't good enough on the sales page. And we have tried to, you know, I've rewritten the sales page, but it still wasn't the, but like with marketing as well, it's, it's a holistic thing. So for example, you could have a great sales page, but if the ad isn't great, the ad could still get cheap clicks, but they might not be in the right mindset once they hit the sales page. So it's also depends on the quality of your ads as well. So we're actually going to film uh, new ads this week. So we're still going to test those new ads going directly to the sales page because that can have a difference. I've seen that have a huge difference before where, you know, the quality of the ad does make a difference because it primes people and puts them in the right mindset for when they actually go to the sales page. So there's a ton of stuff we're testing, uh, but this is just one of the big ones that we're doing right now. And then also as well, our Instagram is pretty good in terms of like the branding and the social proof. So a complete stranger, obviously people are becoming more skeptical. So getting a complete stranger to get into an Instagram DM conversation for them to see the social proof on the Instagram page, I think it's only gonna help conversion. So if we can get the Instagram DM messages cheap enough, then I think this could be profitable. But again, early days only launched these ads like two days ago. So uh, we got to see the results. Other than that, you know, um, been reflecting on what more can we can do. And I was reading obviously Hormozy's book. Like obviously I did a did a video review of it on the channel. But one, one of the good things in it is, well, it was it was just it made me think about like what framework to follow. And it was like more better new, which is a very simple framework, but it just made sense instead of trying to do a ton more, make sure what you're doing right now, just do more of it, then make it better, then go to new channels. And I mentioned in the last video, I've been feeling a bit impatient, I'm wanting to do these like huge, huge numbers, even though things are going well, I want them to go a lot better. And sometimes it does come down to just doing more. So just creatively or organically as well, just creating more content, you know, instead of doing one Instagram reel a day, can we do a few more? Because I was chatting to my business partner and I was like, hey, why don't we try and get you on like podcasts and stuff and, you know, open up this whole new channel. And then in reality, it's like, well, the time and effort it would take us to reach out to everyone on the podcasts, go on the podcast, film it, then take those clips and edit them and all that sort of good stuff that comes with that. What if we spent those, you know, tens, if not hundreds of hours and just film ourselves? and just post, you know, five TikToks a day, five Instagram, whatever it is, right? Whatever that number is. So I've always wanted to do more, but I think maybe we were looking at it incorrectly and thinking, oh, we need to go on all of these different channels, which, you know, there's a time and a place for that. But in reality, you know, what we're doing is working. Yes, the conversions could be better. And that's my job to increase the conversions on the products and the funnels and the sales pages. But also like it could just be solved by more volume so that's kind of what's been going on but other than that we've just been working on some really boring well, not boring stuff but like necessary stuff so improving the program how can we improve the engagement inside of the community how can we improve the training and the modules to get people better results 
How can we put systems in place where we, you know, evergreen, like collect testimonials and social proof, which is obviously going to help into the marketing. So all like, like the behind the scenes stuff as well, we've, um, we've been working on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.